which well like celebrities are really in real life. When in St. Louis, his hometown, John Goodman used go to strip clubs on the east side and tried to tip the dancers and coupons from a restaurant where he is part owner. Edit. I don't believe John Goodman is particularly, I have also met him in Vegas, and he was a very nice guy. His actions at the strip club were in my opinion a little funny. The girls working there had a different opinion. Quick story. Michael Crichton wrote about being in awe of Sean Connery, but one evening at dinner a fan approached Connery and asked for an autograph. He snapped, I'm eating. The fan walked away dejected and Crichton was kind of disappointed in Connery. But after dinner Connery walked back to the fan and said, I'm finished my meal if you'd like that autograph now. Bottom line, celebs have boundaries that we can't always see, but they're entitled to have them. Of course, some are just. My mother is a flight attendant and had Lucy ball on a flight. When my mom came by with the beverage cart and asked Lucy what she would like, she turned her head and looked out of the window, which was followed by her assistant saying, I'm sorry, MS Ball doesn't speak to the help. Met Michael Jordan while off work when I worked at Disney and just casually said, hey Michael. Gotta go away, as a response which pretty much turned me off of MJ forever. Some celebrities that were absolute delights though are Robin Williams, Johnny Knoxville, who I ran into at a military surplus store NYC, where he bought the sailor outfit you see him wearing in the movies, even signed my bag, see you in the showers, and Michael Clark Duncan who rode the haunted mansion with me after I greeted him with his full name. Such a nice dude with a hilarious laugh. Robin Williams stopped by the comic slash game store where a friend of mine used to work. Dude bought about $300 worth of Warhammer 40k models. He was trying to build out his elder army, he said, and stayed around to chat with the staff before he left for a show he was headlining in town. Took pictures with all the staff before he left. Sounds like a real decent dude. I've read a lot of Knoxville stories and pretty much, since his daughter was born he became the man he is now. Just a genuinely nice guy. He also tries to be and took roles in movies that are cleaner than his days and even his roles in are a little less raunchy. Probably hurting himself though, that really changed him. He can only urinate through a catheter because of an injury during I think he learned a valuable lesson. But what I really get from him is that he uses his fame for good. A friend of mine worked on the set of Tropic Thunder, and apparently Ben Stiller was a to everyone, he even fired someone because he thought they didn't put enough sugar in his coffee in between scenes. On the plus side though Jack Black was the nicest guy ever, and still emails my friend occasionally. I used to be a bellboy so I saw tons of celebs act like complete or really nice people. I once saw William Shatter charge a kid $100 for an autograph because he was asking outside of the fan expo he was attending, and then I heard rumor, he was charging $100 inside anyways. Brian Adams treated me like a total pack mule, just because he could and had me move 40 pieces of press junket boxes back and forth for a laugh. Terry Crews asked me for a book of matches and tipped me $1.20, and when I went to explain that it was too much he said he knew what he was giving, laughed and walked away. Gene Simmons had me hold a limo driver for five hours, losing other fares during a film festival, and then proceeded to jump in a cab at the door because the limo wouldn't take a low flat rate essentially myself and the limo for peak tip slash fare time. I could go on if you girls slash guys are interested. I worked for Harrison Ford's son Ben in his restaurant that lasted a few years in town. I was 14. At the time at a busser. One night the restaurant is completely reserved by one party. Turns out Harrison was coming to eat at his son's place. So as I am pouring everyone their water, I get to the person sitting right next to Harrison, and the water pitcher spills everywhere. The ice decided that it had had enough of the pitcher, and all of it poured out at once. No water spilled on anyone, but I start apologizing profusely anyway. Harrison is laughing as off and tells me that it is okay, don't worry about, no water got in anyone. He was very nice about the whole thing. Met Harrison Ford in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. I'm from Mexico. We were at a private airstrip, loading up an airplane onto a flatbed. Out of nowhere, this guy starts helping us. My co-worker tells me the guy is Harrison Ford. I dismiss his remarks. Upon further inspection, I realize it is indeed Mr. Ford. He is one of the nicest people I have ever met. As a matter of fact, he left and left his private hangar open for us to use any tools or whatever we needed. Keep in mind we were about six Mexicans. I was the only English-speaking one. Have commented this same story many times before. It will please Reddit to know that Nicolas Cage is a delightful chap. He recently moved to my city and I met him casually walking down the street. I had to say something. It's Nick Cage for Christ's sake. So I gave him a simple, Hey welcome, to, city where I live. I hope you like it here. The next thing I know he started telling me about all he had done since he had been in town. 
which later evolved into a discussion on baseball. Real nice guy. My family and I ran into Leslie Nielsen at a boardwalk when we were in New Jersey a few years ago. I had seen Airplane at that point, but wasn't paying attention, so my dad noticed him and introduced himself, saying, I like your movies, to which Nielsen replied, so do I, then he quietly asked if he could get a picture with him. Nielsen happily obliged pictures, framed at home, while his significantly younger girlfriend scowled. Working at a studio in Ireland, Tom Cruise came by to promote his latest movie and was the direct opposite of what I expected. I honestly expected a bad crazy Scientologist who thought he was above us all to enter the room. He came in, walked past the host of the show, and shook hands with every single one of the crew in the room first. Asked us all how we were doing and I actually think he genuinely cared about the answers. He asked us questions about Dublin, laughed with us, and then when he was finished introduced himself by name to the host and pre-recorded his interview. After the interview he did the whole thing again in reverse. Been in this business over 10 years and he was the single most genuine person I have met. Macy Gray was a complete by the way and for some reason I thought she'd be lovely. I knew that Cruz was a good guy when some spectator threw water at him at a red carpet event a few years ago. Cruz turned around and said something along the lines of why did you throw water on me? What did I do to you? You're a jerk? Do you get that? How would you feel if someone just threw water on you? You sir are a jerk. Something about the way he was calling out an actual jerk made me realize that he was not part of that group. My mom used to work as security for the WB in Burbank, California, and she met tons of celebrities during her time there. I think one of her favorites was Lena Headey, 300, Terminator TV series, Cersei of Goatee. She is absolutely gorgeous without makeup and is a total sweetheart. I believe my mom said they were both in the bathroom washing their hands and had a nice chat, then met again a few weeks later, and Lena recognized her and came over to say hello. I believe George Clooney was a bit of a jerk, she said, but he left all of his supplies in his office trailer when he was done shooting something with WB, so I'm mad. The proud owner of George Clooney's printer paper. She once gave a man his parking designation, noting, you look a lot like Jack Black. He responded with, yeah, I get that a lot, and handed her his parking pass, Jack Black. Total nice guy. I'm trying to remember the ones she said were but I think they were mostly no names anyway. Trying to pull it do you know who I am? Card when they just showed up to the lot without proper authorization. I'll try to find out and edit if this gets any interest this late in the thread. Edit. He was actually not expecting this amount of interest. It's almost 4 a.m. here, so I will update tomorrow for those who asked. Edit 2. Okay so I talked to my mom today. It's mostly celebs that are nice with a few douches. Lauren Graham from Gilmore Girls is super nice, but Alexis Bledel is a very demanding onset and whiny. Clint Eastwood is friggin' awesome, and my mom got to drive the car from Gran Torino to a secure parking structure. I'll see if I can find pics. Charlie Sheen and John Cryer are great guys, very down-to-earth, but the kid is a little even before finding Jesus and condemning the show that gave him notoriety and fame in the first place. Michael Rappaport, War at Home and Chappelle's show, isn't but the kids from the War at Home show are really nice and humble. The daughter from the show was actually feeling like she wasn't very attractive, and my mom cheered her up and gave her some confidence. She actually tried getting me a date with her, but I guess she already had a boyfriend, Colin P. The son, also from Malcolm in the Middle, was a big dork, but really chill too. A client of hers when she had a house cleaning business is a costume designer for a ton of movies, and also the uncle of Brad Pitt. Mr. Pitt is of course a good guy, although apparently doesn't talk to that side of the family much. As for our friend's work, he was fitting a costume for Rosen, yes, that one, and he asked what she thought of it. Her answer, I hate it, it makes me look fat. It took all of his willpower to not state the obvious. I hope none of this sounds like name-dropping, even though it clearly is but I am simply repeating what I heard from my mom. Hope you guys enjoy.